Hello, and today we're looking at another Lego set. Today we'll be looking at Lego Idea Sesame Street set 21324 with 1,367 pieces, 18 and up. And this is Lego Idea's 32nd set. So this set has six minifigures, and the sixth one is this um, Oscar the Grouch. And it's just the head. And he goes to the garbage can. And another one, it's not really a character, but I mean, it's a character, which is this worm, Oscar's friend. Okay, let's take a look at the minifigures first. So first, we have Cookie Monster. His pants and his body is normal, but the new thing is his mold, his head mold. This is an exclusive head piece. Our second minifigure will be Ernie or Burr. I don't remember which one. And he has a really nice um, shirt printing, normal pants, but he does have an exclusive head piece. Then we have Ernie or Burr or Ernie. I don't know which one's which. Has also a pretty good sweater piece, normal head, normal legs. You cannot move these legs, and he has a really cool headpiece, just like the others. Then we have Elmo. He has no interesting body or legs, but he does have a cool headpiece, exclusive mold. And our last one, probably the coolest of all. Has the has really cool exclusive leg printing, plus has a cool um, yellow um, body with the arms. It's a chicken suit in yellow, and we get the exclusive mold, which is rubbery. And this is Big Bird with the exclusive pieces. You get you get this. Um, one, two, three, Sesame Street sign. Right here. And it comes with, it's the sign, and then this is the pole, which then comes with this um, really cool uh, globe. And then, now we have his, um, Elmo's house. So let's take a look. In the front door is a a recipe cooking recipe book. This is stickered element. It says cooking with oatmeal and it has a recipe. One cup of oatmeal, one mango and buttermilk. Opens and close. The cool part about these green doors is that it can open. Okay. So now on right right here we can see that it has a one, two, three sign. Also, there's this really cool um, design with the building. Now, let's take a look at the back. Okay. So on the back, we have the first floor. Wait, wait, wait. Let me realign the shot. Okay. Actually, so this is the first floor. This is Bert and Ernie's room. So there's a picture of Bert and Ernie with has, has a sticker. Then when we look a little bit up, we see this really cool dinosaur piece. And I'm pretty sure you can see get this piece in Jurassic Park or Jurassic World stats. There's this really cool light. I like the build. This table, and then two beds, a chair, a bookshelf, a clock, which is stickered, um, this marble, or whatever, this pin cat picture, and we have a bathtub. Bathtub and curtain right here. And this is the faucet and the duck. So that's the first room. In the second room, 
Give me a sec. Okay. So the second room is, this is the doors, obviously. So I can close it back from here. There is this um, stuffed animal bunny. This drawer, it opens. And it closes. And it has a bed. This is his bed. On the side, you can see this um, a billboard sticker, a phone. And the other side is um, just his bed and a train. So that's the inside interior. Let's check out the outside on this side. Okay, I'll realign it. So now we can see that this, this really cool sticker piece that says Biff's and Soli's Construction Co. And then at the bottom is Abby Katabi's uh, painting. And this is her, ga her garden. This really cool wand piece. And that's the side. Now let's take a look at the top of the build. Okay. I don't know if this is a UFO. And then that's the only cool thing. It's just a furnace. And that's it. Now we can look at Hooper Store. Okay. So, you can see there's a TV in this, um, on top of the roof of Hooper's store. So, every store has a furnace on the top. So, this is the furnace. Um, there's a bat. On the bottom, this is a TV, which I saw, showed you on the side. Right here. And then there's the, I think it's a fountain or a toilet. A chair and a table. These cassettes are pretty cool. A picture of Count Dracula, I think, or whatever his name is. And that's it. That's that's the interior. Now if we if I'll just move the camera. So the bottom, as you can see, I think this is the stool. Let me try to lift it up so it's easy to see. So there's a stool, some recipes and pictures of peanuts and and like um, orange juice. And then that's the interior. When we move to the side, we can see that this is a newsstand with the sign of Hooper Store. And there's this really nice um, brick and brick design. So that's Hooper Store. So finally, oh, before I forget, we do have this side, and this side is just the seat and this really nice um, lamp. And finally, we have Big Bird's house, not Ness, and it's just some um, trees. This. And so, um, there's in front of his house, it's obviously the Sesame Street side. Then we have his bed with his bear and this really nice printed, uh, not printed, sticker piece. And another sticker piece right here. And so that is the Sesame Street set for 120 bucks. And I think this is a really nice set. Comes with exclusive minifigures. And even though you don't like Sesame Street, you can still get it for the nice builds. And before I tell you how I rate it, let me show you the manual. So this is the manual. And there's no advertisement, and this is the back. There's advertisement for the piano and some other ideas that 
And so that's the Sesame Street set. I really recommend this. I gave it a 10 out of 10. And even though you do not like Sesame Street, you can still get it to part out the pieces. You can resell it after you build it. I, I think all the minifigures have really good value. And the piece ratio is pretty good, I think. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, turn on the notification bell. Bye!